There's the little ship. There's the big spaceship. Okay, so this is the... Uh, can I spend space center here in Legoland Vinland Miniland area. This is the series and this is the last video of the whole series. So be here with me. Here we can see some trains going on the floor and then the base of the moon ship there what is just enormous and the ship the moon ship is so big actually there's a lot of these rockets in here so you will see them and here's an another sh rocket i think there's these test rockets also with the United States, I believe that that was uh, Apollo something, I don't know. And here we have uh, some tourists, I think. With someone taking photos there, with the rockets. And here we can see how well they are designed these rockets because they have put those letters without stickers and then also the just the shape the rounded shape is so good and here we can see the the place itself the space center it's looking good with the America's flag right in front and some bushes blocking the view and the huge center. And here we can see just another rocket with the big NASA center there. And here is a nice picnic area. This would be really nice to put uh, like in your in your cabins, uh, outdoor places. It would be really fun to put uh, those all the way there. And here also, the buses go by themselves. I don't know, are they Lego motorized or what? But can you tell me on the comment section? And these were really nicely done, the drinking... Uh, what they are called? Uh, automats. Really nice. And here we have a little bit different area with uh, here being modern houses but are really nicely designed with the shape. And what's really fun about these are the balconies, how they are so nicely done and the little stories on the balcony. That would be something really fun to, if you are making a Lego city, make there also balconies. That would be a great idea to put then story telling. With this I believe being the biggest one of the towers, it's looking nice. <laughs> mm -hmm. 
and here we can see some street lamps a little bit different than on the other area of this mini land they were a lot more older looking these are modern really and let's go there on the other side here we are one second for you five minutes for me editing magic and here we can see how much they have used the natural elements that that is not like base plates it's uh, just sand <laughs> it's fun and i just want to highlight the ground of these also because the benches are really nicely done they are are on the curb really and i believe that here is a train station i don't know how many train station in this Midland miniland is maybe three i don't know but this is really nicely designed with I like the doors can you see them they are so nice and here we can see it on the other side what is just as good looking here with the big warehouses here and with the really nice curve on the roof that's really something to put on your lego cities curved curved houses and curved shapes because they are a little different and what is cool is that here's a little bit of that normal house holds also with their own gardens and these stairs are just just amazing <laughs> the curved shape and still being straight it's it's amazing and And here I just want to point out that there's really nice things also in here on the downside of the houses there's a little uh, you know platform for buses and people to walk and now you get a whole view of this point and this is amazing just look at that here we can see a uh, really nice is that a church i would believe because it's really nicely done and the texture on the walls is really nice and here we can see a little road there with a little cute buildings in this little city and that vehicle is really nice And what is nice is that there's these buses going by themselves. I'm sorry if this is the millionth time I say in this Miniland series. I don't know if they are going with Lego powered up motors, 
or are they just some random electric motors? Please comment. And here we can see a little, I believe, a castle in beige. Really nice. And this looks like a Fast and Furious scene. I don't know why. And these ships are so nice here in the shipment area and just look at that oh no those are so great I think that in Denmark there's a lot more of those wind powered thingies right there because I see them are quite a lot when I was here so maybe here is a lot of wind and here if you can see there's dolphins how nice and you can't be serious look at that that's huge that's like really huge I mean it's huge just look at it it's so detailed and it's amazing you know the here's the back side it's a, you can't say a word about it. And here we can see in another angle that and just a little detail so I don't know. And here we can see just, I think, some. Uh, and that view is amazing. You can't say it. And here's a helicopter, but that's it for this video. This is the end of the Miniland series. I was at Denmark. Lego House videos are coming. And the whole roundup of this tour. This was, I believe, the fifth, fifth episode, yeah, or fourth. And I hope you enjoy this series where I go to Denmark. Here's the playlist of them all, and see you on the next one. Bye.